Similar to a car, our body's joints also suffer from wear and tear. But there's one sore spot that can catch some people off guard. We find out more in today's Health Matters. Our hips, knees, and shoulders are common places, but there's another place where joint pain can strike. The spine itself can have a lot of arthritis. Osteoarthritis, as it's called, is the most common form of arthritis. Most times when we think of a spine disorder, we're thinking of degenerative disc disease, but there is a strong component of degenerative joint disease in the spine itself. This degenerative joint disease happens when the spaces between the vertebrae narrow. Areas around the cartilage become inflamed and gradually your spine stiffens and flexibility is lost. Generally, we find that if we can place anti-inflammatory medication at the area of the pain generator, we can calm down the inflammation and provide a lot of pain relief. Certain cases may require physical therapy. Sometimes injections are used. As far as injections with steroid medication go, you can use them for joint disease, whether it be, again, the hip, the shoulder, or the knee. But we also use them in the spine if we're treating a disc problem, if we're treating a facet joint problem, whatever we consider to be the pain generator. Aside from injections, physicians like Dr. Augusti will work with you to develop a pain management plan that may include at-home exercises and medications to protect the joints. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. Symptoms include deep aching joint pain that gets worse after exercise, morning stiffness, and a grinding feeling while the joint is in motion. 